I'm probably going to need this. Hey, you know what? You, um, in your three years, you have become a very big part of Hampton Roads. Yeah, by doing a segment called I Am Hampton Roads. And yeah. I love this because we find people and we go into the element. And it was actually the first assignment I had. Yes, when I arrived in the Hampton Road show, it was obviously one of my favorites. And our I Am Hampton Roads segments gave me the chance to meet so many amazing people. So join me as I take a look back in my final edition of I Am Hampton Roads. I was born in Wichita, Kansas, and by the age of nine, I was living in Alaska, which brings me to my next location. And that, my friends, was me three years ago trying to find my way around Hampton Roads. And as I sit here and reflect on my time as host of the Hampton Road Show, I can honestly say that I covered my ground from the Outer Banks of North Carolina to Colonial Williamsburg. I've been everywhere, but at the end of the day, I have to say it's the people that have truly made this an amazing experience. For example, I'll never forget my very first I Am Hampton Roads. It was May 4th, 2011. I interviewed Jonathan Backus, who climbs 90-foot utility poles for a living, yet his story was so powerful and that he shared how he beat testicular cancer. I learned how to stand tall from George Bell, who is one of the tallest people in the world at 7 feet 8 inches tall. I met the most amazing woman named Lisa Olson, who was born with a condition that left her without any arms or legs, yet she still has an amazing spirit, and it's her story that I learned to embrace the world. I learned to do what makes you happy from CHKD child specialist Brian Saletti. Now his job is definitely not an easy one, but all it takes is a simple smile to see why comforting kids with cancer is more than just a profession to him. I learned how to overcome adversity and beat the odds from Paralympic soccer player Jeremy Wade and talented musician James Harmon. Both were faced with challenges in life and continued to rise above and be an inspiration to others. I learned how to live out my dream and get a little rock star crazy every now and then from the amazingly talented Cabana Black. I learned how to set a goal for myself and reach it like Dove Troop did when he ran 50 marathons in 50 weeks. I learned from seven-year-old Isabel Diefenbacher to always have a smile no matter what life throws your way. I have spent the last three years traveling all over Hampton Roads to tell your stories in hopes of inspiring others, but at the end of the day, I am a better person because of it. You have embraced me with open arms, and I thank you for that. And just like I strapped on my helmet, goggles, and safety suit to fly with Lou Radwanek, I'm ready to take flight and soar to the next chapter in my life, and that is going back home. But just know that my name is Ariane Aaron Bureau, and even though I'll be in Anchorage, Alaska, I am and will always be Hampton Roads. <sighs> yep. That happened. Some amazing and people in this, this community, happening. huh? Yeah. A lot of um, amazing people. And you know, coming here. You did here, a great job covering them. Thank too. you. From the Midwest, Missouri, and not knowing mm -hmm. the area, that's how I learned the area and people just sharing their stories. I mean, it, I always said everyone has a story and I've met some amazing, amazing people. So. You will discover so many more amazing people up there in Alaska as well too. I'm excited. Go back. Uh, All right.